sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour Well as indeed they are, yes we're live gentlemen <laughs> Yes We are live, the three stooges <laughs> That's the way you want to put it so I, was, yes. I think that's how somebody put it in chat when I was having a quick look earlier on Alright um, But yes, it's going to be an interesting night tonight um, there's, there's a reasonable amount of video, it has to be said uh, we'll be looking at the jam he made, this time with all of the instructions available ah, and the yeah. software working and stuff like that. Mm. And we're going to have a look at the uh, the vape only BCC Mega Clear Cartomizer. That's a bit wordy. It's, it's, it's a, a lot bit, of words. It's a bit wordy, isn't it? It's a lot mm. of words to say, but that's yes. what it's called. And we'll be looking at those right here, right now, in, all together now, what are we free? The Hour! Yes, indeed, indeed, it's the Hairs Hour, and welcome along to VapeTrails.tv with myself, Dave Dawn. Over on my left, your right, Keith. Evening. And over on my right, your left, no, your left, my, <coughs> your, who, their left. <laughs> <laughs> it's Daz, Darren Johnson. Evening. And we're, we're, we're going to be blethering on a little bit tonight. I, want to, I actually wanted to start off with this Vape Only BCC Mega Clearomizer, that's what it says. I'll even show you the box. There it is. That is what it says. The Vape Only BCC Mega Clear Cartomizer, which has come from iVapor-elixir.co.uk. <laughs> you sure you've got that right? I'm pretty sure I've, <laughs> I am pretty sure I've got it right, yes. Um, and I'd, I'd, I'd not seen these before when I, I went down last week to pick the middle, as you know. Mm. And Toby had one out. And was playing with it, mm. enjoying it, and I thought, I'm not saying I thought it was a um, a Genesis. Right, it's not. It is not at all. What you get in the box, go back to close your camera, mm. might as well. What you uh, what you get in the box is the Mega Clear BCC Mega Clear Cartomizer itself which looks like this and as you will see it has got some juice in it mm -hmm. and you get a couple of heads for it as well um, and again marked up with what the uh, 2.5 or mm -hmm. um, and it, it is it's pretty much like a Kanga T3 right or a Kanga MT3 mm -hmm. with a couple of notable exceptions one of the, the good ones being as I you can take the drip tip off. You can take the drip tip off and fit a standard 510 drip tip in. Mm. Which I've only just discovered. And the reason I've only just discovered it is because my wife decided that it was a good idea to uh, take charge of this. Right. And she's been using it. Really? Okay. Yes. Oh. That surprises right. you, Keith. It does, yeah. It, uh, it came as a bit of a surprise to me as well, I've got to say. But yes, she's... Uh, She's using it quite a lot. Um, in fact, it's all she's using, I think I'm safe to say. Well, well, well. Well. I mean, she usually, you know, she's quite conventional, isn't she, in a, uh, a normal choice? Yeah, she doesn't normally go for anything bulky, that's for sure. Much that's like right. yourself in many yes. ways. She's, uh, she likes slim and sylph-like, which really makes me wonder why she ever married me. <laughs> Well, are we expected to carry on that sort of theme? <laughs> I, I suspect <laughs> it's probably not wise. No, no it's, it's probably probably not uh, wise at all. Shall we carry on looking at the construction of it then, shall we? 
Um, it, the, the, the take apart ability of it is pretty much as per usual and here I have to take a cloth because my fingers are never very good at gripping things. So if I whip the base off and put that to one side you will see that there is a shed load of room. Yes. And I've just realised that because the drip tip comes off it can be stood. It can be stood. So I can stand it so that's good and look at the construction of the device itself. Now the, the coil, because as you can see from the replacement, uh, actually unscrews and again I need to take cloth to it because my fingers just aren't up to it very much. But there we go. And uh, out it comes. It's actually a push fit. Right. As you can, you can maybe gather. Mm. A nice flange there and this pushes in. And thus far, I have seen no problems with sealage. So there you go. Get the angle right. And you can see how it all comes together. And yes. Push that back in. And just to be on the safe side, give it a little screw. Slightly off camera. And there we go. So filling is actually a piece of cake, he said. Taking a bottle of RY High Five. And you've got barrel loads of room. You don't need a snake nose bottle for this at all. You can just squirt it in, more or less, right to the very top there. There's mm -hmm. plenty of room there. Loads yeah. of room. Um, I'll just screw the base back on before I tip it upside down to see how much it <laughs> takes. <laughs> uh, there we go. And I'll just I'll use a cloth just to give it that extra little nip. Um, does your eyesight's better than mine? Mm. What's that rate for you? 3.5 mils? 3.5, I think. Yes, 3.5 mils. 3.5 mils. So it takes 3.5 mils, which is mm. that's that's going to be about right because Jill's filling it once every two days. Right. Um, 2.5 ohm is what's in there, and like I say, she's had absolutely no leakage in any way shape or form. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll so just it. to draw a comparison, how would that compare for example with how much that would hold? Um, that's a, a vision and that again that's got markings on the side. The one vision and a half eagle. mil that is it? Uh, it says... Is it one and a half or two? What? I think it's two. Does that say two to you does? Yeah that's two. You sure? Right. It? That is two yeah. I always thought for some reason it was one and a half, but no. I've been deep wrong. Well, there you go. It's two mils in a vision. 3.5, so it's almost double. Um, and I'll just bung it onto the, uh, the stainless steel EVIC, which is seeing that uh, at 2.2, and I'm going to need to turn the wattage down on this, doesn't like being run massively hot apparently mm. and I just get that sorted out mm. it produces like a steam train absolutely does mm. doesn't it though yes it does and it's not airy like a like an mt3 no, not at all. It's not, not at all. It's not near with Joe at all. No. What do you think, Keith? Now we'll see. Mm. Will there be visible vapour? Visible vapour. You can't beat a bit of visible vapour. Mm -hmm. mm. A nice easy draw, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's yeah. a lovely draw. It's really nice. And what, I'm, what I've found with it... Uh, that's our Y high five that's in there, um, 18 milligram, because it's my wife's. I didn't dare put the 30, no, if, I, if, I put, if I put the 36 in, it'd have been heaven. <laughs> it's 18 milligram because it's gels, and the flavour floods out of it. It does. It's, it's very interesting, because I think we mildly were talking about this last week, not in the show either, but about, like, flavours and devices and mm -hmm. how like different devices and the flavours can be different. Now I could vapor a Y high five in that but some others I, I, I just couldn't touch it. Well, yeah, well I was just going to say that, that that comes across to me is 
a much milder sort of smoke mm. than uh, RY High Five yes. in, in some other device, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it, it, it it's easy. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it, it strikes me as being a, a, a for somebody that's looking for something that's got a bit more uh, capacity to it. Yeah. Um, it, it's ideal. I mean, it's not ungainly. It, it, it would probably look a whole lot better on a brushed aluminium mod mm. than it does on stainless steel. Yes. Uh, I mean, well, there's a, a, there's a thought. I suppose we really ought to bang it on top of um, a normal ego style battery and, and see what the crack is, see how it looks on that. Yeah. Because it's it's step it's step how things look is quite important. But it's the, 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 the capacity, I mean, for somebody like me, that would... Uh, Last year a week. Well, not quite, but... No, uh, not as long as that. <coughs> I mean, on, on a... On a I will, we'll go to close you up, you can, I suppose we ought to really, and, and kind of see if we can get it in. And it does look a bit... Well, mm. It's a bit top-heavy, isn't yeah. it, really? On, a, on an ego. Would it look better on... It's the same sort of thing, Keith. Aye, I was thinking of the brushed... Oh, the brush. Uh, well, let's uh, let's give it a try. Swap it across and see. One never can tell with these things. It, uh, I mean, it, it, in terms, there you go. I'll let you screw it on. Um, in t in terms of, of of how it works, mm. that's really producing. It is, yes. And when when I say it's really producing, that's PG. It's, it's pure right. PG, there's no VG right. in that one, I that's didn't, PG I only. didn't know that either, yeah. Yeah, that's re that is really producing. Absolutely, it's uh, producing like it doesn't a... Look like the, it, it sort of matches up, doesn't it, more on, uh, on that? Well, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's a little bit bulky on the, at the top of it, I suppose. Yes. I suppose you really ought to share pocket it. You know it's not going home because she will kill you. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, sir. Might take it off you, but I wouldn't off jail. No. no, no, that's asking for trouble. That's definitely asking yeah. for trouble. But yes, I mean, it's it's kind of, um, I, to be honest, I don't know what you would call it. Is it is it an MT3 on steroids or an M3 it's, on steroids? It or? reminds me of, um, it reminds me a bit of a VV Nova. Mm -hmm. The, what I do like is, correct me if I'm wrong, but that bottom part doesn't unscrew. The bottom part. When at this part here? <coughs> yes, that's the bit that, that comes off. Right, but this top bit then? No. Right, so that's reassuring because when I was in the phase of using the VV Nova all the time that I found that when I unscrewed it, I was constantly unscrewing it and then opening right. it and then getting a load of juice coming out right. um, because I wasn't unscrewing the top because both ends unscrewed. I mean, what strikes me about that, it, 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 it's, it's neat, it's not fussy, no. and it's not overly technical either, mm. is it? No, it, I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it's simple in a, in a way, isn't it? Absolutely, I mean, it, <coughs> to me, it doesn't seem to be anything of a problem. You, you, you can, once you've exhausted the, uh, the possibilities of, the, of the, the coil setup that's in there, you just pull it out and shove another one in. And can uh, you buy these separately? Yes, you can. You can, that's good. In fact, I have... I have a box of, of said devices here, there it is, and it says on, look, coil oh, unit. Oh, yes. Well, they're for EVODs, those ones. Mm. Um, but yes, these, these are the separate ones, and you buy them in the same sort of box. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So that's them, that's how they come, and they're, they're absolutely... I'm going to order me one of them tonight. Well, I think, I have to say, I'm going to be ordering another one. Yeah. Um, perhaps even two. Mm. One never can tell uh, with these Very things. Neat. It, it's, it is very neat. Is it the kind of thing you would use, Keith? Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, as I say, it's uh, the simplicity. Yeah. Of it. I love I, it's. You can tell straight away compared to the MT3, which I had a nightmare with that filling tonight. Did you? Yes. Oh, I never have a bother. <laughs> well, what I did was, it, I normally don't, but um, the bottle that I was using is the old style, you know, with the pepper, because I like them ones. Uh huh. Um, oh, yeah, the, the rubber, yeah, rubber bulb, yes. That's not easy to fill with one of them, I find, in comparison to a squeezy bottle. Um, oh, right. And I was coming to the end of the bottle and I thought, oh, I haven't got that much left in the bottle, I'll just tip it in. No, no. no. <laughs> I was wearing more of it than what was in the MT3. Was it good, but going down the centre hole? Yeah, going down the centre hole. Yes. But, yeah, with that, I could have done... 
Oh, I mean, you know, if 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 I'd if I'd needed to, that would have been very very easy just to pour out. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's, it's I mean, it's, there's room. no taperage or yeah. anything like that, and there's barrel loads of room. Plenty well, of from room. the reasons we you know we've said, I can imagine, you know, that that to jail will be just straightforward and not. Well, yeah, fussy. I mean, she, she loves the, <coughs> she loves the vision eagle. She absolutely loves the vision yeah. eagle, but she's very careful when she fills it. That the the the, the snipey bottle because mm. she uses she always uses a snipe uh, snipe nose bottles. Yeah. She makes absolutely certain that's down past the centre hole and on yes. the, on around. Yes. I've got to be so careful with the words around the rim, mm. not in the hole. Um, <laughs> yes. Did I, I did just yeah, say just that. Keep, yes. digging that hole. Yes. keep digging the hole. Keep digging the hole. Not in the aperture. Uh, no, definitely not in the aperture. <laughs> just around the other side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was it was one of the words that was uh, floating around my brain, and it's. Yeah. I think yeah. we need to have a dictionary here. Yeah. Well, dictionary <laughs> corner. Yeah, dictionary, <laughs> corner. <laughs> dictionary corner, and why not? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, she's she's got to be very careful with it. With this, it's dead easy. Yeah. Stuff. And that's it done. She screws the bottom back on. She sticks it onto. Well, she's using a, a Z Max mm. at the minute, um, and she's happy as Larry with it. Um, but as I say, I've only just found out the night that the. The drip tip yeah. will change. That's good. That's excellent. So anybody that doesn't actually like a, an oblong whistly tip can swap it yeah. in for mm. whatever it is that takes their fancy. Any yeah. further comments on it from you, Dad? No, other than I will be ordering one when I get home. What about you? Please? So have they? They're just new to the market. I they, they, they've, they've been around seconds almost. I mean, a week, ten days, not very long at all. There's not been very much done on. Um, and as I say, available from iVapor, Yes, I'd be tempted. That's yes, it. I think, uh, as I say, I'm going to be ordering another one as well because I do quite like the look of that. And it will actually match the brushed alley fil finish on the EVIC as standard. All right. Yes, it matches the EVIC standard brush alley fil uh, brush brushed alley aluminium finish. finish. My words are not working well. <laughs> so do we know what they retail at? They're not massively expensive. I can't remember exactly what it is, but they're not expensive. Um, and I, to be honest, I would have thought that you know, if you're paying, well, what would you say? Not knowing what they would cost, what what would you consider to be a reasonable price for? Well, them? something similar. Of another clear miser that I'm going to review, which is uh, I think it's fourteen ninety nine. So I wouldn't have said any more than fifteen pound. It's not that much. No. No, it's not that much. I'll check it out during the course of the adverts, no. and we'll come back and find out how much it is. Uh, and in order to do that, of course. And it takes some adverts. Yeah. So we'll do that and we'll be back in two minutes. Save the six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. in Yorkshire for your EC needs. That's iVapor.co.uk and iVapor-elixir.co.uk iVapor and iVapor-elixir.co.uk Proud sponsors of VaporTrails.tv And we're back in the room possibly a little bit early, but never mind, that's the way these things go. Um, apparently there might be one or two issues with the sound. I'm trying not to raise my voice and I'm watching the meters. We're doing the best we can at the minute. So please bear with us. Um, if it's if it's wrong, I don't know what I can do to try and fix it. However, price on the BCC, the, uh, I've gone to put it away. Price on the vehicle only BCC Mega Clear Cartomizer is 10.95. £10.95 
um, for the kit as you have seen it, um, which is is damn good. Yeah. Yes. Damn good. Yeah. We like that. We like that a lot. Um, the time has come, I think, to look at that. The Janty Mid. The Janty Mid. Mid. This is going to take 13 minutes and 49 seconds. And it's uh, one I recorded earlier. So we should play that in and I'll try and get things sorted out. Um, so if you're interested in the Mid, here's the vid. Did I just say that? <laughs> I did, didn't I? You did, yes. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Well, hello. And I'm here in the Looking At It In Close-Up studio to have a look at the Janty MID-1, the mid-1 from Janty, uh, the very latest piece. You may recall last week we looked at it um, very, very quickly just to see what it was all about. This week it's a little more in-depth to show you how you use it. Um, since last we spoke, since last I spoke to you, um, the manual has arrived and in actual fact what you need to do is to register on the Janty Mid uh, forum and then you get to download all of the various different manuals and pieces of software which is exactly what I've done, read through them and I'm going to try and do this from memory but you may see slight breaks where I need to refer back to the manual. But what makes the Mid? Well let's have a look and see. And the Mid basically what we're talking about here is a joystick driven piece of kit um, and the joystick itself here is very very neat moves very simply as you'll be able to see the movement is not massive moves in four directions and presses down as well and then underneath that is probably the really important part and I'm having to come from the mouthpiece end down over to be able to show you how this all comes together for the simple reason that if you work it from the other end as if you were holding it when you go to actually do anything and I'll use my index finger you cover up the little LED so you can't really see what's going on so I'm going to come from the mouthpiece end here to try and show you how this all works right so pressing the fire button we have a red LED and the red LED tells me that I am in my number one profile. Um, to change the profile on the fly we move the little joystick three times to the right quite quickly. One, two, three and you will see that we get a different coloured LED flashing away. This time it's purple. That's what I've set it to so that I can understand what's going on. And if I now move the joystick to the right you'll see that that flash changes two flashes one two that tells me I'm in profile two if I move it to the left we get one two three that gives me profile three and if I move it to the left again we get four flashes which tells me it's in profile four let's go back to the right one and that gives you one flash so let's stick with that for the time being and by pressing on the center and holding it down for a second we get that little green flash that tells us that we are back in profile number one okay with the four pushes to the right you can alter your profile on the move so one two three four little orange light one two one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, I want to go up one, two, three. So one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. So that's 3.2 of either volts or watts. And the problem here is I can't remember what I've actually set the device to. Let's take it up a little further. One, two three and that was to the left or up one two three one two three four five well, one two three four okay let's let's confirm that and let's come back to closer you come on yours truly now that should have increased the wattage of what I'm using at. and as far as I'm aware I had set this to watts Oh. 
<coughs> right, <coughs> which would pit me a hard, and I do apologise for coughing and spluttering that way, but as you can see, the mouthpiece has fallen out, and if I go back to closer up, you can to try to show you the mouthpiece that actually arrived with the unit itself and um, after the first session has become very very slack and just at fingertips you can see there's no pressure there at all it slides in and out very very easily which is why um, I've kind of decided to do without that one and anybody that's been watching the shows lately will have seen that I've gone for this which is a, a drip tip from a bucket at um, and yes it doesn't make me the happiest bunny on the face of the planet but that's the way it is the uh, for whatever reason the mouthpiece just decided to drop out so anyway yes we've uh, we've set that to 3.3 3.4 and it works quite nicely at that so just to recap Three little clicks to the right allows you to choose which profile you want to use. Four little clicks lets you change the the level of that profile. That's where we've gotten to with that. And so we go to five clicks to the right, which is for vaping style switching, um, which is an interesting concept in and of itself. Five clicks to the right then. One, two, three, four, five. And we get a blue light that just flashes twice. So by moving the cursor to the right, it changes to one. And we again, we press and get the green. And that gives us what we're looking for, which allows real-time vaping or vaping style switching. When you press the button, and I'm, I'll have to do it from here, and slide it up, it should change the voltage or the wattage up and down to suit. By pressing the button, press it forward, or pressing the button and press it backward. It should lower. So I'm going to give that a try right now and see whether that's happening. and nothing appears to be going on. Um, I shall check the manual again, just to be absolutely certain. And it does say that two is real time. Two is real time. So let's go back to it and see. So here we are. And again, five clicks. One, two, three, four, five. We get the blue light. And it tells us that we're in one. Press it to the left, we get two. And press it down. And the green tells us that it's been accepted. And so we'll try again. And I've got to be honest, I'm not seeing any difference. Anyway, there's more, there's more. So let's uh, move further on into the manual and see where else it goes, what else you can do with all of this. So in the monitoring menu, this is where we go to the left, all right? And by giving it three short clicks to the left, one, two, three, we go into the monitoring menu and in the monitoring menu we can monitor all sorts of things um, if i press up for instance it tells us what the wattage or voltage is the amplitude in other words and this is all done by flashes so one two three four 
Couldn't count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, it's three. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, one, two, three, four, five. So that's at 3.5. If we press it down, it tells you the temperature. And it's gone out again. So we need to give it the three short lifts. One, two, three. Monitoring. And we press the joystick down. One, two, one, two. No, one, two, three, one, two. So that's at 32 degrees. If I press it to the left, it should tell me the resistance of the cartomizer, which is one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So 2.5 ohms is the cartomizer, and that will run everything up to six ohms. And on the left-hand side, it tells me how much battery's got left. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it isn't. It's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eighty-seven percent, roughly, is where we're at. Um, what that means is all of the information that you require is at your fingertips. There is one further. Um, menu entry that you can use uh, to to control your Janty mid and that is to switch it on and off. Um, we've done profile switching with three short clicks to the right. We've done profile programming with four short clicks to the right. We've done vaping style switching with five short clicks to the right and now we need to go on and off. So, switching on and off. Five short clicks to the right, switches it on. Uh, not to the right, to the left. And five short clicks to the left. That was four. One, two, three, four, five. Switches it off. And the little light fades out to tell you that it's gone. You can press the button as much as you like, nothing's gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five. Switches it back on. And there we go. So a quick recap then. One, two, three to the right. Let's you pick your profile. And let's have profile three. One, two, one, two, three. That's good. Four short clicks to the right. One, two, three, four. Allows you to set your power. And I'm going to take it up a bit. Or you can take it down, pressing it. The little green light gives you confirmation. Five short clicks to the right. And you can switch the way it works. Let's go into two blobs on there. So we should be able to switch it on the move. One. One. Ah, I've got to go to the left. One, two. And press to confirm and it goes green. And then on the left menu, one, two, three, and we get into monitoring mode, where all of the various different bits of monitoring are available to you. And let's just press that and come out of it. That's it. So that's how you work your way through the Janty Mid on the move. It may suit you, it may not. And it's possibly easier if you want to alter things to use the Janty Mid software. Keith, 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 it's finished. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's, uh, it's all right, it's all right. It's sweaty, not sweaty, <laughs> it's finished. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. That's but, okay. How far through did you get? <laughs> uh, a couple of minutes. I think. Yeah. Um, I know, was five I, to the right, three. Three to the left. This that's just like going to dancing lessons, really, wasn't it? it just a bit. Yeah. Just a bit. Um, I, I, 
<laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm really not gonna pass an opinion. I think You're everybody not stuck looks. For words, are you? I am a little bit. Um, it takes me back a long way with error codes on cars and mm. and and stuff like that. And error codes on motherboards where you have to listen for beeps and one beep for yes and three beeps for no. Mm. Um, but I heard they're running a degree course in this. Is that right? Yeah, I wouldn't be at all surprised. I, I, I've. I've got to say, um, it's it's a beautiful looking. It is. It mm. does look really nice. And let's let's kind of closely up come it and have a you know another look. It does look really nice. Um, ignore that. I'll take that out because it's not part of it. Um, I worry about this open USB port. I have to say, mm. because if juice gets into it, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen. And I, I haven't dripped any juice in, but. If I hold it the way I would hold it, as you can see, that completely obscures the LED. Yeah. You know, you've kind of got to twist it around, and when it's under, you can't see what it's doing. Um, so, I don't know what, based on what you're saying, what do you think, Daz? I said I said the same last week, and I'm going to say it again: is that because it, it would be no good to me because of the fact it hasn't got a display. If it hasn't got a display and to read off that, I'll be honest, I got lost off at probably the first set of clicks. Um, yes. And I would be, I mean, even like the on off function, I would be too conscientious of having it in my pocket and wondering if I have for sure I switched it off or set it to a completely different profile. I would, I would need to, to spend time with it to get to know it. Um, properly before I was able to use it and I don't know if I would be prepared to spend the amount of time to learn about it because I get so excited when I get a new t to me what is a new toy that I want to get in and dive in yeah but I'd suggest you probably have to use a lot of time and if you were going away you probably have yeah. to take the instruction manual yeah. you? otherwise you wouldn't remember all the settings mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. you I need something that is is quicker to to pick up on and is easier to you you know for for ease of use to be able to go out there and say yeah I'm confident in doing that, but that would take far far you know more time for me to be able to digest. Yeah, it might, it might appeal to the real purist. Yes. Uh, yeah. You think? Yeah. Well, it might to mm. a certain minority. Well. <sighs> I've always considered myself to be an uber geek, um, but I've got to say, um, I'm at the stage now where I much prefer some kind of display with figures on so I know what's going on. I'm not really not bothered about puff counts and all of that kind of stuff. No. I, I can't really work out what the use of a puff count <coughs> is mm. for myself, but when it comes down to something that looks so nice, but is so... It's so difficult to use on the move and remember yes, what everything yes. is. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, is exactly. it four clicks? Is it three exactly. clicks? Is yeah. it left? Is yeah. it right? What is it? Um, and I, I took the opportunity to have a look at what people were saying in chat while the video was playing out. Mm. Um, and they seem universally unimpressed. All mm. oh, right. Um, I mean, if, if, if I may, if, just like take my, my Z Max, for instance, Keith. I was in the car earlier on this week with it. Now, it's got a function. And I didn't know this until I was, you know, driving. And the function on it is, and the first, the first one is that... I can switch off the fire function while the Z Max is still on. Right. Now, if that, which I, sorry, if it does, and I didn't pick up on it, but if it did, if that has had a similar function on it and it was on but it wasn't firing, I really wouldn't have a clue off the top of my head how to get that function on mm -hmm. without it having a display feature. This I did, and I was able to pick up on it straight away, knew what I'd done wrong, and correct it yes. while I was in the car. Yeah. I don't think I would be confident in doing that. No, I'm sure. Yeah. I, th I think it's a case yeah. of whether or not you, you pardon me, remember which key presses do yes. what, yes. In, in what direction, <coughs> and stuff like that. Now, exactly. As I've said, that I, I have no doubt whatever that there's, there is a, a class of person out there that this will suit, yes. ideally. I just mm -hmm. don't think that class of person's in this room. No. No. And I suspect that that class of person is probably not in chat either. Well, as I said earlier, a small minority it might appeal to. Yes. I would have thought. I, 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 don't, I don't think it's got universal appeal, no. No, um, not in any way. After we come back from the adverts, to be absolutely fair, 
it, it is much easier to operate it, I think, mm. from the software, mm. the Janty Mid software. Um, it's certainly easier to see what you're doing, and it's eminently possible then to at least set your profiles so you've got some idea. So you would set, if you like, one at, I don't know, just to take figures off the top of my head, three watts, five watts, seven watts, and nine watts. Mm. You could set your four profiles that way, yes. so you're always going to be in the ballpark. And I think the best thing to do, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll have a look at that when we come back. We'll be back in a couple of ticks. Yeah, uh, just chatting there, what, what, what occurred to me was how far we've come with e-cigarettes mm. since I had my first one, which you, you gave me. Yes, that was a, a 901 in a personal right. charging case, yes. yes. Now, that's not that long ago. Two years. Right, two years ago. So we're looking at a smoking substitute. Yep. Really? Pretty much. Pretty uh, much. Yeah, that when you look now was a, a, a bit of a crude device, I suppose. But then we've moved to the other extreme. What are people looking for? Are they looking for something that's straightforward? Now we're into the business where it would appear from what you were saying that, that you're getting software to go with that. Mm. We I are. Mean, uh, you know, <laughs> where does it stop? It, it's not the first time that I've heard this and it's not going to be the last time and I don't know if there will ever be an end to the evolution of vaping as we knew it or know it currently. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, the, 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 the evolution is going to carry on. Mm. Where it's going to go, I don't know. Mm. I mean, we're, we're, we're at a situation now where there are two devices that are computer connectable. And they're actually not the first. There was one before. Uh, but Dave Kitson reminded me of the other day. Um, there was one that you could connect up and you couldn't really do a great deal with it. And it didn't work all that well anyway. And I can't even remember what it's called and you can't get them anymore. Um, but yeah, they, these are like version, this is number two and number three of, mm. the, of the computer connected ones. Mm. Um, and, and I think things are probably going to move in that direction. Do you want to have a look at the software, Keith? Are you feeling drowsy again? I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> glaze over. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that. We'll have a look at the software. I mean, you know, it, it's it's actually quite comprehensive. Is the software you can do all kinds of things with it. It's it's and it's very well. I'll show you and then you'll see. Here it is. Very short. Eight minutes or so. Now, when you connect it all up, which I shall do, right this very second. It takes a little while for your computer to recognise what's going on, but let's have a look and see what happens 
as we uh, start using the software and I do apologize for not having a full screen grab going on but that is the way it is and it's taken a while to recognize it it's plugged in I'll just click on device click on mid series it knows it's a mid one there we go now we've got it in and as you can see it's got the whole bang shoot the product part number the product serial number the firmware version the PCP version the product name product owner product nickname device registered and in fact it is registered and I am supposed to be logged in but there you go um, across here is where you pick what you're going to look at and let's go to state color and as you can see I've set these up profile switching in red profile programming in green vaping style switching in blue shut down in white and monitoring in purple and the good the good bit about this of course I'm colorblind um, and what it means for me is that I can see the colors on the screen and they do reflect quite well in the LED that's on the MID itself so that I can set the colors to suit my own purposes let's carry on and look at what else this will do and go into vaping style um, real time vaping speed now I've got that set to 0.4 of a second I think I'm going to drop that down to there and we can set it and as you can see it's enabled it may well be that when it was uh, set prior it might have been set to be a little bit too slow which is why I couldn't see too much of a difference but we'll set that back to the way it is and then I think we'll go and have a look at the profiles and we do that by clicking on the profile menu I've clicked on it and here we are into the profile menu and you can see that you set the profiles in here now these are the default ones that I've changed because I've got them all set to a flat profile and profile 3 tidal wave as you'll be able to see I'm going to change that and call it Dave 1 whoops all right that's now called Dave 1 only it's three isn't it so we better keep it called three that way we know where we are um, and you can change this around to suit yourself you can start it there are different profiles down here in the right hand side down here um, so we can go to a, a ramp up or you can go to a ramp down or you can go an upy downy profile sine wave in other words or you can have it start high and drop low or you can have a triangular waveform or you can have a skewed triangular waveform I'm going to go to flat at 12 and a half is where it's starting and move some of these points up and down a bit So I actually wanted to start quite hefty and then I'd kind of like the whole thing to drop down a bit my problem is I don't know how to make them all go at once it seems to be one at a time I can't just get them where I want them because I happen to know that my sweet spot tends to be around the 8 mark and it just seems unnecessarily fiddly to go at every every 10 seconds but I'm going to try and copy that little lot control C <coughs> so 
So we copy it down here and then select all of this and paste it in. And it's pasted it in at the end. Uh, so perhaps you're supposed to put the cursor where you need it and paste. All right. So you just keep selecting paste and that will put them all in as you can see and that's it there we go now if I scroll this along a little bit so you can see we'll see what happens as I press the button in that mode And that's exactly what's going on. Okay. So you can see in real time what's happening. And that's, that's how you program. If we go to the monitoring mode. Then we can see what the atomizer power is in that profile we've just selected. And it's 3.6 watts, which is 3.7 volts. And... You can see the current, which is 1.19, see what the resistance is, and we can see what the battery voltage is that's left, and we've got 7.7 .7 volts, 84% or thereabouts, and the atomizer power that's working, when it's working. And down here shows you where the, the joystick is. So that's pretty much how the Janty Mid comes together. You can program it to do everything you want it to do. Um, and then all you've got to do really is remember which of the different profiles are what. Oh, once you know that, you should be away and flying. Um, we'll throw it back to the studio where I've no doubt there'll be one or two comments. Lads, it's back to you. Well, there you go, lads. It's mm. over to you. Opinions? Well, I really think that takes the biscuit. I've sat here on a many occasion glazing over, but that is just... Well, yes. Mm. I believe it is. Aren't they running a, a sort of six-month shortened course at one of the universities? <laughs> so... <laughs> Sorry, I'm being... Uh... <laughs> Does your take on it? <laughs> Well, the software to me reminded me of the dashboard of a car. Mm. Yes. With the dials. Um, but I, I, I can't help but think that everywhere that I went with it, I would have to purchase like a little netbook. Because I would... I would if you're going to have something like that, one of the, the things to me that instantly springs to mind is the software plays a large part so that you may want to tinker so if you're on the move and say that i had like a spare 30 minutes or something and i might want to tinker i'm going to have to take some take it with me you know to, to yeah. be able to do it yeah um because again and i know i've mentioned it before but it's got no display <laughs> and that's a massive massive big issue for me it's got no display so I'm, I'm just going to be lost without being able to see what's going on. Well, it would certainly lengthen your distance. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, your journey time. Wouldn't yeah, it? definitely. Well, Me in the car with my little netbook with the e -sick. <laughs> That would just be um, something else, definitely. Definitely. Yes, I've always thought of myself as being an Uber geek, and I used to be able to find my way around software very simply. Mm. And generally speaking, in... in and graphing software you just select the whole lot and drag it all down in one lump and apparently you can't do that mm. I, I, I've got I really have got to point out very very strongly this is a pre-production piece of kit and I sincerely hope that there are certain things addressed I, I, I think it's got to have a display mm -hmm. for yes. me it's got to have a display and, and there's room enough to put one on around this, this side of it here. Mm -hmm. You could put an OLED screen because they, they wrap around things, don't they? Yeah. 
So that that would that would work. It would be a winner. It would be an absolute winner with the display. Oh yeah, I mean because you could you could drive the menu yeah. and see what you're Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. I've, I've got to be honest and say that the the flashy things are a bit. I don't get it. Um, and if if uh, in actual fact, once you get beyond three or four flashes, it's very difficult for people to remember how many flashes there's been. Well, if you it, can't get your head well, around it would it. be like a disco going on in your top pocket for a start. Oh, there's <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. There is that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, I think we're going to say no for the moment. Um, the, the, the idea behind the way it works, the fact that it'll go up to 25 watts, there's there's a lot of things to like, but unfortunately there's a few more boxes to put across in than there are ticks. Mm. Oh, I think so. Um, mm. So there we go. That's the Janty Mid. Now, you've been organising something in March, have you not? Yes, I have. You have indeed. I even made the advert. You did? You made the ad he dad does made the advert. I've so made the advert. I'll play the advert in. <laughs> There's a knees mate coming up on the sixteenth of March. Get ready for the music that everybody loves. <laughs> Just, just to clarify everything, um, <laughs> while the advert was on and we were, um, <laughs> we were, we were square dancing here, um, it, it doesn't take an eighteen six fifty. I must have misread, or there's been a mistake. It takes a sixteen six fifty in single battery mode, and they are about as easy to get as rocking horse droppings. Um, I can't find anywhere in the UK that's stocking them. Um, I'm sure there must be somewhere, but I can't find it easily. But it's a sixteen six fifty. It takes. I haven't been able to get one, haven't been able to test it. We'll see what happens when it actually does come out on the market. Lord only knows um, it will be what it is. But this knees meet on the 16th of March, Keith, from 12 till we get kicked out. Indeed. In, at the Sundial in Shields. Right. Right on the coast. It's a Saturday, that, and it does. Yeah. It is indeed. It's a Saturday. Yes. Tell everybody about the Sundial. The Sundial is based on Sea Road and South Shields. It is right on the coast in the lovely part of South Shields, I might add. It's very roomy. Lovely hospitable staff uh, who should open us, who should welcome us with open arms. They did last time. They did last time. However, it has been subject to a change of management, but that's beside the point. Well, please tell me it's not the. <laughs> don't, no, no, tell me it's not the film. Do not was, panic. No. And, and more, more to the point, everybody. I am not going anywhere this time. I have been told and formally warned by Sav, dearest Sav, that if I go anywhere, she is going to gaffer tape me to a chair. <laughs> so I'm not going anywhere this time. So come along, 16th of March, the Rattler South Shield, 12 p.m. till closing. So that'll be good. Um, might we see you there, Keith? Have to look at me diary, 16th of March. He's a busy man, yes. you know. If uh, if I'm not working. Uh, that day. Not working. How old are you? Well, I'm not going into that. <laughs> <laughs> not going into that. Fair enough. Um, it's been a joy and a pleasure to be with you all once again, um, and I look forward Eat. to the next time. Uh, don't forget to tune in on Saturday night for Smoke the Vape on Saturday, Sutton on Saturday, SOS. Did it it da 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 did it it da. It's time to go, isn't it? It's time to go. Say bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 See you next time. Ta da. Bye. bye.
Sapers Eggs, sponsors of the Haze Hour. <laughs> 